In this video, I'd like to give you three reasons why you two should consider coming here um, and enjoying all that the, the school and the city has to offer. So my first reason why I think you should come here is because of the, the atmosphere in the school. Uh, the atmosphere is incredible, not just in the classroom, but in the school as a whole. Uh, so to give an example, we're a very small class. We're only about, about 30, really. Um, and uh, everyone has their own desk. I go in, I have my own little desk. My name is on, <laughs> is on it, and I have my own locker. It's, uh, it gives this kind of, um, kind of feeling of belonging, almost. Um, and also, the director of the Masters, who's called Alberto, usually comes into the class every morning and he chats to us. Um, and it, it's all very nice. Um, equally, the, my classmates are very interesting, come from lots of different backgrounds. So, for example, half of the class are public health residents in Andalusia. So this is the training school for all of the cities within Andalusia. That is to say that um, whether, whether you are a public health resident in Sevilla or Córdoba or Cádiz or even you know, Granada or Málaga, um, you'll come here for your first year. And I, I find that really enriching because it's, you're, you're, you're kind of learning and working alongside people who are already kind of uh, deep in the process of, of becoming um, public health uh, specialists. On the other hand, the uh, <laughs> on, on the other hand, uh, the other half of the class come from all over the world. Um, so, for example, I've I've a lot of classmates who are from countries in South America. For example, Colombia, uh, Mexico, uh, Guatemala, Nicaragua, Honduras, just to name a few. There's also people from different parts of Europe, and there's people from the United States and Canada. And they don't just come from medicine. We have psychologists in the class. People who've done economics, sociology, even architecture. And in these uh, master's courses, there's a huge amount of discussion um, and debate and group work. And so really, you get to, to learn a huge amount from the perspectives and experiences of others. And I've so many times been in the class and thought, wow, I've, I've never thought of it that way. Um, so I think it's a, it's, it's a really interesting perspective that you get here in, in, the, in the course, thanks to the diversity that exists um, but, you know, with all the classmates. And then in, in terms of the, the, the master's course itself and the professors, well it's a it's very broad course. Um, so you cover a huge range of things from uh, investigation and research methods um, to more kind of healthcare administration, uh, to health promotion. And then you also get the chance to specialise. Uh, there's little courses in, um, for example, multivariate analysis or um, environmental health uh, or to, to kind of deepen your understanding of, of qualitative or, or quantitative methods. Um, and so um, what I really like about it actually is that there's not just a huge emphasis on understanding the theory, but equally um, there's, there's a big emphasis on putting that theory into practice. Um, so if we take the example of research methods, uh, we did, when we did statistics, we spent a huge amount of time going through, you know, when you would choose each statistical test um, and really understanding the sort of why behind it, so that when you read a research paper you can kind of critique it better. Um, but we didn't stop there. Uh, we then put that into practice using the software OR. Um, and OR uh, is, is something that's used kind of more and more uh, in public health research. And then we, we worked as a team. We did group work where we took uh, a database and we, we analysed that database to, to put into practice you know, our knowledge of like univariate and bivariate analysis, for example. Um, and, and that kind of element of going from the theory to the practice is something that, that is done in every single in the course. Um, so, for example, at the moment we're doing health promotion, um, and in this in this course we don't just do um, kind of the theory behind health promotion and the different perspectives that you should take into account. But we also learn from professors and teachers who are right now actively involved in in, in health promotion programs in the community. Um, and so, in our classes, there's loads of like discussion um, and debate and, and um, explaining about kind of the, the steps they've taken in their planning and execution and evaluation of these programmes. Um, and, that, and that's something I really enjoy because I feel, for example, if I return to Ireland and I'm involved in health promotion, I already have a framework to work off of. Um, and again, it offers a, a different perspective again, uh, so it's very nice. And another, another aspect of the, the teaching faculty here that's really surprised me in, in a lovely way is um, how accessible everyone is. Um, so usually, just as they start a class, um, they'll give the number of their office and they'll give their other details. And they'll say, si tienes cualquier duda, which is, if you have any doubt at all, um, don't hesitate to contact. 
Um, and it, it feels like the, you know, the door is always open in that respect. Um, it, it, in, in other ways, it feels like the, the, the faculty kind of go, go even further. For example, um, the, the course director, Alberto, he often comes in in the morning just to, to chat and to kind of um, make sure we're, we're all getting on OK. Um, but then he puts on these uh, kind of breakfast journal clubs um, so that we, we can, you know, even outside the classroom, get a bit better at kind of, um, kind of critiquing uh, research papers. Um, so, so all of that, I, I feel it really adds this whole sense of kind of belonging to the school and, it, and, and this whole sense of the faculty being really invested in, in your learning and, um, uh, yeah, and, and I guess in your development as a, as a public health professional. Um, but uh, also, <laughs> not everything is within the classroom. Um, so the second reason I think you should come to Granada is because uh, there's, a, there's a huge amount to enjoy um, outside of the classroom. Uh, so um, Granada is a beautiful city. It has loads of history, uh, nice architecture. There's this lovely culture of tapas um, and also flamenco. Um, and, and not only that, but being part of the, uh, the school here, uh, the Andalusian School of Public Health, you also get access to all of the sporting and cultural activities that the university put on. Um, so for example, I play tennis twice a week with the university um, and it's been a lovely way to get to know people from other faculties. Uh, and equally, when I came here, I started um, paddle, which is um, sort of a little bit similar to tennis, but different. And it's something I never played before, um, but something I really enjoyed. And I've actually got to play it with uh, one of the guys from the, the class as well. Um, but equally, there is people in my class um, doing lots of different kind of um, activities outside of, outside of the school. Um, one other uh, association is called the Erasmus Student Network. Um, and this is really strong in Granada because the University of Granada actually hosts more Erasmus students than any other university in Europe. Um, so you, you've, you've plenty of opportunity to meet uh, students from lots of different countries, um, uh, studying lots of different things uh, through nice social events like tapas, or trips to, to kind of um, local cities like uh, Sevilla or Córdoba. Um, so, um, the, and then actually really importantly as well, the, the, the city of Granada is, is quite affordable. And so that's something that's, that's really nice. You can, you can live quite well and, uh, you know, um, kind of enjoy yourself here without, without spending a fortune, which is important as a, <laughs> as a student uh, again. Um, and then sort of the, the third and final reason I think you should come to or at least consider uh, applying to this programme is because you get to be part of the, the Europub Health Consortium. Um, and what that means is that you don't just get this year, but you actually get to do a second year <laughs> um, and, and do a specialty. Uh, so for example, I'm, I'm going to Paris to do biostatistics and epidemiology, but equally there's people in my class going to, um, for example, Maastricht to do um, leadership in European public health. And there's a, there's a huge variety of of specialty specializations available um, in many different countries. And we all get together uh, in uh, Rennes uh, in June and July um, to do kind of a, a joint module together at the end of the first year and the second year. Um, and what's even like better again is that you can actually apply for a scholarship to fund these whole two years, and um, not just a tuition, but a grant to that, that also covers maintenance. Um, so it's just an incredible opportunity. Um, and so really, uh, for, the three, for the, kind of the, the main reasons I would uh, suggest that you con consider coming here are um, for, the, for, for meeting really interesting people from all around the world, um, for b being in classes where you will kind of uh, not only rely and, and use your experiences and share your experiences and perspectives with others, but you will gain so many new perspectives and uh, think about things in a way you haven't considered previously. Um, and then thirdly, to, to not just live in, in one beautiful city, but in two, and in two different countries. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I would consider applying for the programme.